Hello everybody. Happy Monday. Wow, it's a whole new week. <sighs> All right, you guys. <laughs> I have a couple things that I really, really want to talk to you about. And I love talking about things that are near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm going to share this in my group really quick. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Uh, ultimately, I always have, so my month is already planned out. That's just how I work my business. I started doing this in January and it just helped turn my business around for me. Um, so whenever you get on here, please say hello. If you don't know me, my name is Katie. I'm the director at pharmacy. Um, pharmacy is what has led me to be able to not only be home with my babies, but stay out of the corporate world for the first time ever. <laughs> and homeschool our son um obviously i always throw coco in there we keep her out of daycare which daycare is crazy expensive so so thankful that i am able to be here um so you know i always first let me know if you're a planner are you someone that plans out like your week or your month or do you have like a quarterly plan like what are your are you a planner or are you a fly by the seat type of person fly by seat of your pants type of person. Um, that's how I used to be for the longest, longest, longest time ever. Like I was always just, especially if it was something that I kind of knew how to do, if I would catch on to something pretty quickly, I would just kind of run with it. And that's what I'd always done. So I've been here in this industry for a little over four years now. And I've always, it's something that I caught on kind of quickly with and I realized pretty quickly what was possible here. And I just, I didn't put a lot of thought behind it, um, which was bad on my part, but I just kind of ran with it. I just flew by the seat of my pants. And then in January, that's when um, I was still getting sick. So almost a whole year after I had cocoa, I was still getting sick from mastitis and autoimmune stuff every single month. So that puts a lot on your body. Um, but it also like puts more on your load as far as trying to do all the things that moms try to do. And <laughs> that's when I realized like something has to change. I need a plan for my business. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> and I just needed something that was more set. So um, I took action. I didn't just sit back and complain and say, oh, my business is failing. I'm no good at this. Like, I don't have that mindset anymore. I don't have time for mindset. Like, I don't have time for lack mindsets. I don't have time for scarcity mindsets. Hey, Janet. Um, you know, I, I make it a point to always be working on myself because I've realized how, how crazy, like incredible our minds are. And if your mind is in the right place, which yes, it takes work, then you can literally do anything. So I needed a plan set in place because it was important to me to kind of, you know, realize that life always happens, right? Like even, um, the past like two or three months, um, people on my team have been having sick children. So when you have a sick children, when your spouse is sick, when you're sick, when maybe it's just a month or a week that your schedule is insanely busy, it's more hectic than normal. And you start to feel like you're all over the place. You don't really know what to do, how to do all the things. Thank you so much, Stephanie. <laughs> Um, so you just freak out and instead of still working your business, you just call it quits and you're like, Nope, <laughs> hold up. I'm not doing it. Um, my life is too crazy and I don't have that mindset anymore. To me, that's just an excuse because I'm here working a business. So I've never walked downtown area where all of our small businesses are and saw a sign on the door that says closed. My week is hectic. I don't know how to control all the things like, no, you're a business owner. You take it seriously and you, you learn how to maneuver around everything. We go through this together. You learn as you grow and you, you, whatever. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. So, um, I already had something that I wanted to talk about today, which was mindset and journaling, because this is something that I talk about a lot. It is something that I have been implementing in my life for an entire year already. It's been a year since I've like been very strict on implementing this into my life. And it's probably besides getting like makeup and skincare questions, this is what I get the most questions about, um, from people, just anyone who watches my content. Even if they find me on YouTube, I get messages about journaling, about mindset, about gratitude. And so that was already on my heart to talk about today. And then I just had this moment over on Saturday. <laughs> so, um, 
pharmacy, you know, it's no secret as well. I'm very open about my goals. And one of my biggest goals here at pharmacy is to reach golden director because as you know, I'm here to be home with my children and help support my family. And to me, golden director is like the golden ticket. If you will, you get a free trip to pharmacy, you get your car bonus, like you get all these extra things that really help your family. So that's always been my, my number one big goal. Um, but then I think it was last week they mentioned how if you hit it this month, you're going to not only earn your free trip to Pharma City, which is our environmental friendly um, facility that all of our products are made from. <laughs> not only do you get a free trip to tour all of that and visit all of that, um, October is the Pharmacy <laughs> Gala. Like that makes me want to cry, you guys. <laughs> Just knowing how close I am to earning something like that. It's their gala pharmacies in 26 different countries. So it's their global convention <laughs> that I have the opportunity to go to next month. If I hit it this month, we've got 10 days left. And so I was, there was, there has seriously just been so much going on behind the scenes with pharmacy. When I heard that, I was like, okay, that's cool. That's great. Um, we, almost hit golden last month for the first time ever in Waymaker history. Okay. <laughs> so in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, we were super close last month. It's fine, whatever. But mentally I was trying to juggle all of the other behind the scene things I was working on. <laughs> and then on Saturday, that was my, I was at my sister-in-law's watching, everyone's watching football, but it was like my first time that I didn't have the kids like right on top of me needing me to where I could think. And I was like, I literally have a chance to go to Turkey next month. <laughs> I literally have the opportunity to go to Turkey. Um, and not only that, this month, if I hit golden, I also get the opportunity to go on a cruise in the spring. Um, all paid for <laughs> by pharmacy. Um, the gala, the, um, the global convention, that's a little bit different than like their normal incentives. So the cruise is all paid for. I might have to pay something for like the global convention, but compared to everything else, it's such a small payment. <laughs> um, but to me, that is so crazy. <laughs> and I'm just so thankful, but I'm so excited too, because I know that it's possible. Um, and with the point system that they gave us this month, like typically you automatically earn 50% on every order. Okay. You don't earn up to, you don't have to sell 3000 or 4,000 just to earn 50%. You literally join for 20 bucks and sell a mascara and you just you just um you just earned half your commission off of the price of that mascara or whatever you sold but this month you earn it's like it's i'm really bad at math but in my back office for instance um the foundation that i'm obsessed with is 29 dollars, and i earn 21 dollars off of it because we're getting that much of an increase this month <laughs> That's pretty freaking insane, if you ask me. Like, who does that? That's for the rest of this month. Um, so, this is 1,000% a team effort. Like, my team is literally amazing. They are so... <laughs> I've, never, I've never experienced something like this. I've never experienced a team that works so hard and so well together. Um, it's like everyone kind of does their own thing, but we all come together. And it's so... And maybe it's just because this opportunity here is so much more laid back and it's not necessarily built on. So where I came from, I was used to having a structure where, and I am going to use their terminology because I'm not familiar with other companies terminology, but you start off as a beauty guide. And then I was a lead beauty guide, which meant I had to have beauty guides under me. And then I was a star and had to have so many leads under me. So it gets kind of confusing. I know the terminology, look, but at pharmacy, you don't do that. It's all about your front line. Okay. So I'm a, I'm a director and underneath me, I have influencers. That's what you are. When you first sign up, you're an influencer. That's what I have underneath me. Um, your bonuses, like your director status and so forth is based off of your group volume. If someone joins and they purchase um, one of our opportunity business kits for 125, that 125, it doesn't just disappear and go nowhere. It counts in your group volume. <laughs> that's huge and very unheard of in this industry. So that's a huge deal. And also this month pharmacy is matching. So if someone joins and buys one of the 125 kits as they're joining, 
they're going to give me another already active person that signed up on the pharmacy site without a sponsor and how cool would it be if they had me as their sponsor right because i love my team and i work very closely with my team especially when i know that they're here to make a difference in their family's life i know how important that is i know how uncertain this world is how uncertain it has been since last year right after we had coco <laughs> Um, and it's pretty darn nice to know that I can be home with them still making a really nice income. And, okay, so, yes, baby? Okay, you can let her out. Thank you for trying. Um, he was trying to put her to sleep. He did it yesterday. He was so proud of himself. So I was like, you could try again today if you want, but it's fine. She's crazy. She wants to go outside. <laughs> That's what we're getting ready to go do is go play. Um, so what that means for me to hit golden this month um, right now I just checked. So we've got 10 days left of this month and my team is a little on. So we're like 11,900 some dollars to hit by the end of this month, which is what we did last month. Like we were over a little over $20,000 in team sales last month. Is that not crazy? Have you guys seen the prices of our products? They range from like three or $4 to, I don't even know what our most expensive item is. It's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a skincare item and maybe in the $80 range. So like $4 to 80 that's our price range of products and we sold over 20,000 products last month. That's a very big deal. Um, hello baby. <laughs> Coco's coming. So we have a little bit of ways to go this month. Um, and the other thing for me to be golden is I don't, I do need so we have bonuses that you can hit. You can earn a 3% to a 25% on top of your 50% every single month. And as golden director, you need two directors underneath of you. So I need two 25% earners underneath me and that's it. <laughs> and listen to this. The cool thing about you running for director and hitting it, when you maintain your director status, you get a $1,000 bonus. <laughs> Not a 50 or $100 bonus or a pat on the back or a certificate in the mail. You get a $1,000 bonus for, for you hitting director and maintaining it. So that's what's in store for you, <laughs> um, which is just insane. That's a $1,000 bonus on top of your, your money that you're already making, okay? Um, it's just, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch gears a little bit, okay? I'm going to start talking about mindset and gratitude and what I've been doing for the past year consistently. And this all started, um, it actually started last summer. Um, Django, Django, yes, mommy? come here, please. <laughs> um, move your stool from the counter, please, because Sissy's getting up there. Oh, yeah, that's how I got my charging. That's okay. Just move it, okay? Sissy, come here. Um, okay. It started last summer. This um, person, this she's this girl that I have networked with just through social media. Um, she's not even in direct sales anymore. We've always been with separate companies. Um, it's just someone that I really meshed with, right? So I love social media because I've learned to tune out the negative parts of it. Um, there's negativity everywhere, you guys. We have the choice of whether or not we fall into it or not. Facebook is so freaking easy to hide people, hide, hide their content, hide them, unfriend them, block them, whatever. If someone's posting something that doesn't make you happy, hide their post, hide all of them, hide them for 30 days. You know, you get the point. Um, so this girl was hosting a gratitude challenge last summer. And I thought I needed to be in that because if you know, last June is when I switched to pharmacy and I was at this point where I was just legit freaking out about what to do. I didn't know what to do with myself. Like the pandemic was in full force. I did not want to send my new baby to daycare. I, I did not want to do it. No if, ands, or buts, I wasn't doing it. I would find a way and make it happen for me to keep her home with me because that's what was important to me, okay? Um, and I had just switched to pharmacy and, but I knew like I needed my mind to be right. You guys, our minds are so freaking powerful and it gets deep. You guys <laughs> mindset work gets so 
deep and I think that's why a lot of people freak out with it and just kind of let it go because they don't want to fight through or push through the bad stuff because our subconscious mind what it does <laughs> is it tries to remind us of the past it tries to remind us of the fear we used to feel of the like anxiety that we used to feel and make us feel like it's our present situation and it's not so um what this so gratitude journey started last it was might have been late summer early fall ish time frame for the gratitude and you basically just wrote in your journal every single day things that you're 50 things that you're grateful for every she might have started us out on sundays but i want to say every single day just because that's what i do django <laughs> sorry I need you to move Matt, please, and be with her. Because now she's getting all of that. Okay. The stuff right there that's on the counter. <laughs> I don't know. You probably can't see her, but she is not happy with me. Coco, come here. You want to come say hi? You come say hi? Come here. Don't do that, Django. You're going to make her fall right off. Just pick her up off of it. Okay. He has his own way, apparently. Um, so you're going to get a journal. It does not have to be a fancy, frilly, nine, ten dollar journal that you find. If that's what makes you more excited to write, then sure, go get it. That's not what makes me excited to write. Um, I literally have a compensation. Comp is that what it's called? I have a journal that I just write in. And every, what you want to do is for, well, you could start with 30 days, okay? Just go with that. Go with 30 days and write down 50 things that you're grateful for every single day. It doesn't have to be first thing in the morning because I understand that yes, our minds work best in the morning, but for me, morning first thing in the morning doesn't always work for me, okay? I've got children. I understand that, but I also understand I have to stay consistent. So don't think, oh, well, my morning's too busy. I can't do anything. Then you better make time for yourself at lunch while the babies are napping or stay up 10 minutes later after bedtime and get to work because it's up to you. No one else can change your mindset. <laughs> That's how I talk to myself when I'm too tired or want to give myself all the excuses. So, and the reason that writing 50 things is so important is because it helps you get into the, like the nitty gritty of what we are thankful for, you know, because ultimately we always think of my house, my partner, my car, my kids, my family, my, you know, food, but really what are the nitty gritty things that you are thankful for? When I'm thankful for my husband, I'm not just thankful for his, you know, a body, like a person, a physical person there. I'm thankful for his patience. I'm thankful that he is unlike anyone else that I had ever dated in my past. Um, I'm thankful that, you know, I have a bunch of things about him that I'm very thankful for. Same thing with your kids. You can be thankful for certain things about them. If you, um, you know, are thankful for your house, for instance, she's fine, Bubba. Um, what are the things inside of your home that you are grateful for? You know, is it the furniture that you get to sit on to be comfortable? Or is it the, um, the dishes that you have? <laughs> okay. Um, so those little like nitty gritty things, having clean water, clean running water is something that not everyone in this world has access to. So you can be thankful for clean running water to take a bath in, wash your dishes, wash your clothes. Do you have a washer and dryer? You can be thankful for those too. And same thing with your clothes. Be thankful that you have clothes to put on your body so you don't have to just wear tree, li you know, tree limbs, <laughs> leaves or something. You know, you have clothes. You have money, okay? Maybe it's not what you want, but when you get thankful for what you have, you get more. Your mind becomes a magnet for what it is that you're wanting. Leave her be, just leave it. Then give it to her. Give it to her. <laughs> Stop. My children. Django James, give her her dog. I just wanted her to She doesn't that want to come. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Um, so back to gratitude. <laughs> um, your relationship with money is huge. So, so, so big. If you are constantly 
freaking out about not having enough money or you're upset about the bills that you're getting, that lowers your vibration. And that is the energy that you're putting out into the universe is a negative impact on money. So when you can flip that mindset around money and fix your relationship with money, it helps so much. And you guys, I've been there, okay? I have been there. I've been, I've had the anxiety over money and just other little things that feel crippling. And I ha I knew that I had, once I realized that changing your relationship with money was a real thing, I knew I needed like all in. Um, so that was a lot of my gratitude for the longest time. Um, yes, baby. The other thing that I um, journal about are affirmations. Coco Roo. I am talking, baby. <laughs> I am talking, baby girl. I know. I know. You just want to be the center of attention. Here, just stay right here. Stay right here so you can say hi. Can you say hi? No? Okay. Go get your brother. You want to go to Bubby's room? You want to go to Bubba's room? <laughs> okay. So, you're going to write down affirmations. And these are things to help keep you in check. Things about yourself. They can be, excuse me, they can be um, goals that you have. So for me, I always write that I'm golden director. I already claim that I am a golden director at pharmacy. So that's what, that is something that I write in my journal every single day. Oh, <laughs> that I am golden director. Um, I already have a specific money amount that I, I write in my journal and I keep these visuals with me because when you can write them down like this every day, you put, you're putting them in the physical realm and it just makes them come to light that much easier, that much quicker. Um, so that is something that I do, but affirmations are a huge, huge, huge thing after my gratitude. And then some days that's all that I do. Some days all that I do are my journal or when I journal is my gratitude and my my affirmations. Some days that's it. Some days I'll write more. And once you start getting into the habit of writing, you just almost start craving it because you realize what it's doing to your mind. You just feel it. Yes, baby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you pretty girl? I know. Okay, bubby. I know. You want to go with Bubby? Okay. So, <laughs> she's so pretty. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> so, the other things that I'll write about are, I can write about, if so, if something's bothering me with somebody, it doesn't have to be my husband, but if something is bothering me with him, um, a friend, or maybe just another family member, someone that I'm having a conversation with, or, you know, talk to regularly, and I'm starting to feel a certain way, instead of just reacting to them and, you know, kind of like diarrhea of the mouth almost, just throwing out how I'm feeling, I will journal how I'm feeling first. And if it's a conversation that's already had, I'll, I'll write down, you know, what the person said, what I said, how it made me feel, um, what I think the solution should be. And sometimes after I write stuff like that, I'll feel fine. And I, I'll know like, okay, like you can let it go. It's fine now. You've already got it down. You've released it into the universe and it's fine. Um, sometimes it still needs to be addressed after and that's okay too. But this time when you're addressing it, you're going to address it a little bit different than what you might have originally because you've had time to process it and think about it a little differently. Um, this can be very therapeutic. If you've had things that happened to you in the past, write them down and talk about how it made you feel or, you know, write about how it made you feel. Like those are what I do. And sometimes doing stuff like that is emotional. You know, it's going to trigger things that, you know, might, un might have bothered you in the past, but it's so important to get those things out. Write them down. Cry if you need to cry when you're done. That's okay. Okay, I'm so tired of society making it seem like crying is this like horrible thing for people when in fact it's one of the healthiest things that you can do for your own emotions. You want people to like you. You want to be a better person and all this. You better start working through your own stuff. <laughs> um, yes, baby girl. <laughs> 
What's the matter? Django, where's her milk? Mama. Django, you left it in there. Okay, so now that, you know, my mind is like boggled from my children, <laughs> um, I'm definitely, I'm losing my thoughts, but the gist of it is exactly what I've already told you for journaling. It's, it's everything you have to, <laughs> you have to just start. It's so, so, so important to, to start journaling. Um, but if you ever have any questions that I don't cover in one of my chats, please send me a message and let me know. I'm never going to call someone out because they sent me a message on how to start journaling or how to get into expressing gratitude because it's not something that everyone says we should be doing. What, honey? We're getting ready to go outside, okay? <gasps> Say thank you, brother. We have to. You don't want to go play basketball? We can do school first. Oh, we'll do school first. <laughs> So we've already been, we had an errand to run this morning. Um, well, it was like late morning and we're, we've got school on our agenda, basketball on our agenda. My house needs clean so bad. So I need to clean and, you know, make sure I'm taking care of my body too, because I'm definitely um, fighting through candida right now and all those die off symptoms. So I'm trying to battle all of that as well. And, you know, I'm just doing all the things because I know what's possible when we do them. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Monday. And if you need anything, if you need, you know, if you would like to help me reach this goal to earn a trip to Turkey or my cruise, um, and you would like to order, please let me know. And I'm more than happy to help you. I can order for you. Or if you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to just join you because that the money you're being paid this month alone is too good to pass up. Let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. And I hope you have the best day ever.